Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. Dynamic behavior of measurement system and we are talking about the system second order. And we are talking about the frequency response. And of course, we again use sine waves, yeah, because that's the core of the frequency response. We record again the, the change of the amplitude and the latency of the output of the measurement system. Okay? The change of the freak, the change of the amplitude is uh, displayed in the border plot and also the latency is also displayed in the border plot and it's exactly like we I have explained you during the first, uh, system first order that uh, we will use the border plot there is logarithmic scales uh, there are two diagrams uh, where we have one amplitude diagram for the amplitude ratio both times uh, we have here Logarithmic, so we are here at 1, we are at 0.1, here at 0 0.01, here at 0 0.001, here at 0 0.0001. Yeah. That's the amplitude ratio. And the latency will be given in degree. This means how severe is it for the, uh, how severe is it for, for one swing. Yeah, not in seconds or something like this, because this may stay constant or even decrease. Yeah? However, for the swing, it will be worse. Yeah? So this is how many degree, 360 degree would be a full swing late. Yeah? Minus 180 degree would be half a swing late. Minus 90 would be a quarter swing late and so on. Yeah? I've explained this during first order system. Now we just want to have a look how a second order system looks like in those plots. Huh? Well, if we are far below the natural frequency of such system, we will stay here at one. Huh? Let's say we have somewhere here, we have somewhere here the natural frequency, then Above the natural frequency, we will drop, and we will drop steep, much steeper than we are dropping with a system first order. System first order, we set 10 times higher frequency, only factor 10 lower output. And here we have 10 times higher frequency and factor 100 lower output. So we are going down twice as fast. This is how it will look like yeah, if we above the natural frequency. Yeah. This is how it will look like above the natural frequency. So not dropping like, like this, like the first order system. Yeah. Here we had the first order system. You see it was dropping here gentle. Yeah. And here we're dropping twice. Not, one, not factor 10, factor 100. 10 factor 10 factor 100 and so on. Yeah. And now we have different behaviors in between here because we said during jump response there is a, a damping factor. Okay, Depending on the damping factor I have here in between different behaviors. Yeah. If the damping factor is low, let's say it is zero, yeah. Then if this is the natural frequency, if the damping factor is zero, then we will start to grow here to infinity. Yeah, we have a resonance yeah, and we'll come back here something like this. Yeah. So this is damping zero. Okay. If we have damping zero, yeah, well, it, it's not working. Yeah. If we have high damping, we will make we make it like this that we drop here, yeah? and then it may look like you know two two different changes. Yeah? This is high damping factors, yeah? and I said when we are going to zero to seven, yeah? I will draw this with thick. Yeah? Then we will go there. Yeah? We will have no rise, yeah? no resonance, and we will go down here. This is this is damping 0 0.7. Okay? If we are below 0 0.7, we will see such rise. 
The, the lower we are, the more this resonance frequency yeah, resonance if d is lower than 0 0.7. Yeah, actually, 1 divided by the square root of 2, however, 0 0.7. Yeah, it's 0 0.707 or something like this. Yeah, resonance if d is lower than 0 0.7, we have some resonance here. We have a certain frequency. And remember, remember the step response. I said, if I find the correct sheet, huh? remember the step response. I said, at 0 0.7, we're not under swinging anymore. Yeah? So resonance is exactly then given when we are still going below. Okay? Here, at 0 0.7, we have no resonance hill anymore. Yeah? The net resonance frequency is also not constant. It will drop a little bit. Yeah? If damping is zero, the resonance frequency is the, is the natural frequency. Yeah? And here with higher dampings, we are gently going over. Yeah? So this here is maybe damping one. Yeah? This may be damping three and this is higher damping damping around five let's say okay so high dampings 0 0.7 we don't have resonance and starting with 0 0.7 we have this resonance here and at damping zero we have a resonance peak going to infinity okay so that's it for the amplitude what how will the how will the phase look like? We will start at zero again. Yeah? And one thing is for certain certain we will end up at minus one hundred eighty. Yeah? So minus one hundred eighty is the maximum phase of of a system uh, of a system second order. If we have damping zero, we will go there. Yeah? Change immediately, go down and stay there. So this is damping zero. Will not happen. Yeah? In case of 0 0.7, we will change yeah, somewhere here. At the nominal frequency, we will reach one, we will reach 90, and then we will go down here. Yeah? So this is again 0 0.7. Something like that, yeah. Okay. If we have something in between, we will change faster, but not that fast. Yeah. Maybe like this. Yeah. So this might be, for instance, damping. 0 0.5. But we will all reach this point here. Yeah? At the nominal frequency, we will reach minus 90 degree, and in the end, we will be very close to minus 180 degree phase shift. So half a, fa half a swing fa shift to let. Okay? If we have higher dampings, well, we will then go more gentle here. And if we have really high damping, it will even look like we have we are changing to minus 90, something like this, and then go further. Yeah, then it looks like a little bit we have these two steps. Once here, also one band, second band, one band going down to minus 90, second band going down, then one, one minus 180. So this here is here, let's say damping five will look like that, something like this. Here, this is damping one, then we have something in between. Yeah. I think you can understand. Yeah. So starting from two steps will then be one step, yeah, and this one step will be more sharp the lower the damping is. Base line. If we are reaching 
a phase reserve of a phase shift of minus 180 degree is a system second order. If we are dropping here very fast, it's a system second order. If the damping is very low, we even see resonance. Yeah? If, the, if the damping is very high, we do see two bands. If we can really reach to the desired value is again 0 0.7, at 0 0.7 we have no resonance, yeah? and we are in this band here, this is very sharp. Okay, this is very accurate, very sharp. So we can go to the mo the, the highest possible frequency without uh, changing changing uh, the amplitude value. Okay. So also here, zero point seven is beneficial. With damping one, we must stay much below. Yeah. Second order system frequency response, uh, especially interesting in the difference of, of the first order, uh, put this next to each other, you see it is dropping, here this is dropping steeper, uh, here we have no resonance or something like this, we have no damping, and also here the phase is not going to minus 90, it is going to minus 180. That's it. Yeah. System second order frequency response. Next video, system second order impulse response. Okay. Then we have all the things we need. First order, second order, and all different, different uh, test functions. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.